So this is the instructional video for Inject 3.1. So this provides you, one second here, this provides you the inject purpose. You scroll down the scenario update as well as the player actions. So what we want you to do for this one is we want you again to use the Storm Central website and we're going to have you download some additional updated information on the declarations and we want you to utilize the, the fleet movement spreadsheet. But this is important for states especially because if they want to know if they're in the path of the fleet movement, this matrix, this fleet movement matrix spreadsheet will help the states know if they're in the line of movement so they can be aware and help if, if, if contacted. And secondly, it allows other private sector organizations to realize where the roads are clear, at least where the fleets are moving to and from. So this can help them as well. So when you click on the go to inject button, hang on a second here. Okay, you'll go to the inject web page. Again, lots of information on the right hand side of the column. You want to concern yourself here with the update and the player actions. When you're ready to go, you click collect, you click the action button, and you'll be taken to the Storm Central app is what we want. So you want to click on that. You'll go right here to the Storm Central website. Again, you hover over here, you select CADEX 2017. And we want you to scroll down and look at any new declarations that have been posted at the bottom. So we have Maryland, New York, and West Virginia, uh, New Jersey, and Delaware. But the other thing we want you to look at is this fleet movement matrix spreadsheet. So if you click on that, you'll get a sample one. You can open it right up. But in a real world, we publish these twice a day. And so in it, what you want to be able to look at is, all right, am I in the line of fire for this? So let me pull it over here. It opened in my other window here. So let me fix this real quick. All right, so this gives you an idea of, this tells you here on the right side what utilities from what states are sending resources, what states over here are requesting, the utilities in those states are requesting resources. Now, this doesn't match the, um, the actual scenario, but it gives you an indication. So here are crews coming from South Carolina. They're leaving on this date. They're arriving on that date. They are uh, intrastate vehicles, which means the minute they leave, their South Carolina state, they need to have those documentation waivers and declarations for legal reasons. And here are the states they're going to pass through. They're going to go right from South Carolina. They're going to go right into North Carolina and right into Virginia. And uh, power outage estimates are 150,000, and they were being requested by the District of Columbia Utilities in that area. So here's one. Let me give you a better one here. I'll give you the uh, Maine. So the crews from Maine are leaving on these times. They're going through these states, right? They're going to pass through these gray ones, and some of these blue ones are both impacted and non-impacted, and they're actually headed for the District of Columbia. See how it works? So the state they're leaving from, okay, the states they're passing through, and the states they're ending up at. Now, why is this important? Because the utilities need help getting through toll stations and way stations, and if they can fix this, it, it takes a, almost a day sometimes off the response time because if you get delayed, if you're coming through eight states and you're delayed a couple of hours in each state because of some reason and you run up against your, your, uh, your company limitations, you've got to bed down for the night, you might lose a day. So this is really important that we get people up to speed on it. So once you're done, you come back to your email, you click player feedback, you'll go to the inject 3.1 evaluation page, Read the answer, which best describes you. Click, 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 and you're finished.